Good morning listeners and welcome to the Trade Talk podcast. On the day of weekly expiry, we saw the market closing below the mark of 16,600, which is certainly not positive for the market. But on the other side, if we see the intensity of sell-off, then it is decreasing. The level of 16,400 acted as very good support for the market. In the last downtrend, when the market was down, it found strong support at 16,400 levels which bounced the market back to the levels of 18,350. In short, the 16,400 level has great relevance and as long as the market stays above it, we can see the market to trade between the range of 16,800 and 16,400 levels. The market is going to face many uncertain events in the near future and based on that, we have to keep in mind that upside is limited and the downside is still open. The level of 16,200, 16,300 will be the next support zone for Nifty and closing of the Nifty below the level of 16,150 will invite more worry as in that case the Nifty may drop to the next important level of 15,850. Buying and selling is advisable on the reversal formation. The tension between Russia and Ukraine is increasing day by day and it will not stop until we start giving up hope of an end to war or peace between the two countries. An uncertain event sometimes limits patience and uh, when that patience is on the verge of breaking or it breaks, then only some certainty or a ray of hope arises in it. In brief, we are all watching the event very closely and that is the reason the market is turning more and more volatile. We need to focus on levels and based on levels only we can trade or invest in this market. If we go through with sector specific activity then metals uh, did well uh, in the commodity market also. most of the commodities like aluminium, copper, zinc, uh, including gold, silver, crude, they close at the highest point of the day. Singapore Nifty is down more than 250-300 points on the back of specific development on the uh, war side and that's the reason we are going to see lower opening. So uh, if we uh, see the uh, trend of the dollar index then there, there also we are seeing a lot of activity but it is still holding above the mark of 97.50 and um, uh, our currency is also around 75.90 so these are the things uh, which are certainly not uh, attractive for foreign investors and they are like uh, going to sell further friends uh, we need to be careful while uh, trading in the market it is better to trade only on the reversal formations That's all from my side for the day with this I am ending today's morning podcast. Thank you very much for listening in and have a great day to all of you.